This time, a former Donda Academy teacher files a lawsuit against him. Court records got solely by the impact show that the Yeezy style creator is being sued by a substitute educator who guarantees that the confidential Christian school is following unlawful instructive practices, as well as breaking different well-being and security infringement. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Two individuals are suing the Donda rapper Shakari Byers and Cecilia Haley according to court papers obtained by The Blast, Haley stated that she began working as a substitute teacher for the school on November 12, 2022. On or about January 9, 2023, she became the school's third grade teacher. Half a month after the fact, close by January 25, 2023, Byers began functioning as a fifth grade educator. In the court documents, Haley and Byers stated that they were the only African American teachers at the school, despite the fact that the school accepts students from pre kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. Haley, who has north of a quarter century of involvement with the instructive field and recently filled in as the dignitary of two schools, guarantees that she found numerous well being and security infringement at Donda Foundation. Additionally, Haley stated that the school was engaging in a number of unlawful educational practices. Haley carried these infringement to the chief and head of the school, Moira Love, on somewhere around three separate events. Students in need of educational services, additional testing, or individualized learning plans, Haley asserts in the legal filing, was not following state regulations. Haley also mentioned that teachers were not required to undergo mandatory reporter training or receive training in basic life support, BLS, as is required by the state. Additionally, Haley noticed that many students were the targets of severe bullying because there was no established disciplinary procedure in place. According to the court documents, there was one specific incident in which an unidentified student attempted to assault another teacher after slapping an 8th grade student. The unidentified student reportedly had numerous unresolved reports of verbal and physical bullying. Byers was of the opinion that students who exhibit violent tendencies ought to be kicked out of the school. Additionally, according to the two teachers, Donda Academy lacked the fundamental elements necessary to function as a proper school. They say, for instance, that the school doesn't have janitorial services, nurses, or staff trained to give proper medical care if it's needed. They also assert that Kanye West himself was opposed to the school employing a cleaning staff because he did not want to use chemicals in cleaning products. Instead, in the lawsuit, both teachers assert that the only cleaning supplies they were permitted to use were microfiber cloths and acidic water. There were no trash cans outside of the classrooms or the kitchen, the lawsuit continues. The two teachers assert that students were not permitted to bring outside food or water onto the school grounds, despite the fact that many people might wonder where students would dispose of their food after lunch. In point of fact, the two teachers assert that sushi was the only option for students to eat for lunch each and every day of the week. In the court records, they guarantee that it was, well known, that Kanye West would dish out $10,000 per week to take care of the understudies with sushi consistently for lunch. Additionally, the teachers disclosed that the school was required to adhere to strict rules and requirements. Students were reportedly forbidden from using crossword puzzles or coloring sheets by Kanye West, for instance. They additionally guaranteed that the rapper wouldn't permit classes to occur on the second floor since he was supposedly scared of steps.